Alright, so what is going on today, YouTube? Got a new deck for you guys today. Now, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have watched uh, Tuesday's video or yesterday's video. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but <clears throat> hopefully you guys did watch that video and you guys seen the Distrudo Zombie video, I mean, deck that I came up with. And um, hope you guys did enjoy that. It's really a real fun deck. This hand is just very, very good. As you can see, we could definitely get out of it thanks to the synthesis. Um, if we could draw a ravine, that would just be even more sweet. But um, <clears throat> that tells me his hands cannot be that good. His hand cannot be that good if that's what he's searching for as of right now. All right, there's a pendulum call, so he's going to be getting rid of a bunch of cards. So he basically has possible. I mean, he's going to get a two magician for free. So he's most likely going to go Omega. <clears throat> so this might be a little tough thing to get over. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy that video um, on uh, on what's the name on Tuesday. And like I said in Monday's video that I'm only going to be doing one video a day as of I think probably for the next two weeks. Um, <clears throat> like I said in uh, Monday's video, I just should be doing it probably this week and maybe next week. But I am working on something that hopefully you guys do like. And I, you know, I do need to take my time with it, so I don't really want to mess up. I want to, wow, he just, he just opened up broke, but that's not really, <clears throat> he's gonna pop itself. Uh, so he can definitely get Omega. So yeah, what? Okay, he popped himself. Okay, we can get Omega and the Joker. I mean, I, I, I guess, but yeah, I'm working on something. I'm working on a little four part series that uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy so uh, why I take my time researching and doing all that uh, <clears throat> yeah it's only going to be one video uh, a week so hopefully you guys do enjoy these and we're going to just do one competitive match um, hopefully you know it, it's long enough to satisfy you guys and you guys do enjoy it but anyways as you can see we're playing against Pendulum Magician it's not the hardest of decks to play with I mean against and uh, since we do play Zombie World in this deck um, we can stop pretty much a bunch of their play because they all need to be yeah, spellcasters. So yeah, like he can't use <clears throat> he can't use the effect to to pump. Um, let me see, what does it say? Um, yeah, all the other. I mean, they have to be magician pendulums. Okay, well that's well that's cool. Well, you know what? That, hmm. And then uh, yeah, well this gets banished, which like I said, you can go into Omega. That does not bother me one bit. He got a black thing once again. If we can get access to a what's the name, then we're just in the uh, we're just in. There's no reason not to Omega, young man. Come on, DBZ. Use I mean go go to an Omega. There's no reason not to. You're not going to Omega. We use the Omega. There's no reason not to use the Omega. There you go. Okay, so he hit the best card out of my hand. Which kind of sucks, but hopefully we can draw something good. Oh, there's a burial. Now that's even, that's that's way better than what we could have started off with. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna normal summon this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get hit by the time pendulum graph, um, which is cool with me, which is completely fine. Uh, so let's see him do it. He's going to do it. Doesn't look like he he might not do it. <clears throat> but in all seriousness, if you play against pendulum, this is definitely what they should be. Wow, he's not going to do it. Okay, so with that being said, hmm, I'm trying to see something here, folks. What I can do, because I'm definitely going to bury all that back, and I know he has a black thing in his hand, and he has a pendulum sorcerer, but with that, it can only search a joker. So we need to, he has a black thing, so we need to get rid of his scale, his low scale at least. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do here, folks. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to target this and we're going to send. We're going to send, um, possibly Gozuki. I'm not sure. I don't think I want to send Gozuki, though. Do I want to send Gozuki? I don't think I do. Um, and yeah, we are playing. Oh, we, uh, this is a updated deck list, so it is a couple of different cards. Um, okay, we're go oh, okay. No, 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 I know exactly what we're gonna do here. 
we're going to do this. We're going to target that. <clears throat> we're going to send uh, Goblin Zombie. Um, because, you know, as you can see, we do have a burial. So we can definitely do a bunch of nasty stuff with this. So we're going to go this. And um, let's see what he. Pretty sure he's going to activate it now. There's no reason not to. There we go. Okay. So <clears throat> there goes the, 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 the space time pendulum graph, which is okay. He's going to target that and you're going to kill both of these cards, which is okay with me. He's going to send Goblin Zombie, which is even more, more okay with me. So now what we can do here is that we're going to search go Zuki, right? And then we can use the Zuki to special summon Unizombie, right? And then we could Black Rose. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. It's because we do have this what's in it. We do have a burial, so we don't need to worry about what's going on here. And uh, ain't that fantastic that we drew this? But uh, yeah, this is the point of the deck. Um, I can actually, no, I'm special summoning. What am I thinking about? So we're going to ditch Gozuki and we're going to special summon Unizombi. And then that's going to trigger and then we're going to banish that. Special summon the Mizuki. And then once again, like I said, we're going to start off with a, oh, we can go Ancient Fairy Dragon. Now we can go Ancient Fairy Dragon, right? Um, is that a smart play? If we go Ancient Fairy Dragon... Hmm. Wait a minute. I think we could <clears throat> we can get, find a way to get all three Mizukis back, but then that's not a good burial because we want to get rid of his Omega and we want to get rid of his Purple Poison. Um, you know what? I think I would just go with my regular play because we can still Ancient Fairy if we would feel like it. Um. Hmm, let me think here. I can go Ancient Fairy, pop this Mizuki. And then burial those three. I mean, then go Mizuki for the Gozuki, and then burial Mizuki, Goblin, and um, then we'll make it back. And then I could search. No, see, that's not, it's not going to end up good. It's not going to end up good for us. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Um, if you top deck, uh, if you top deck another scale, there's nothing else we can do about that, folks. There's nothing else we can do. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to do this. I'm going to get the Gozuki out. <clears throat> no need to do that bam and then we do play tornado dragon so that's something we can definitely go for um then we can just burial these th three back one two and three <clears throat> and i want to play akash magician but i just cannot i just can't fit it in here so we're going to activate gozuki and what we're going to send is possibly i think a Hmm, we can send Spectral Sword, and then we can go into, um, but that doesn't really do anything. I think we just send Mizuki here, yeah. I think sending Mizuki here is just the best option, and then we're going to just get these two back, and then we're going to hit them with 34, and then go into a, oh, we don't play Castell, do we? We sure don't. <laughs> I forgot all about that. We do not play Castell, but we can go into Baguska. Um, but, uh, you know what? I think... I think Tornado Dragon is just clearly a lot better. Um, or is it Bagusta? Because he can just pop, but he can't attack, so. Um, we don't play Castell. That sucks. Uh, let me see here. So I can go either Bagusta or Tornado Dragon. I think Tornado Dragon is, is a lot better. But I think Bagusta is what's going to actually do better. Because he can draw and I can pop the purple poison and it's going to pop my tornado dragon. And then if he has one scale, he can get out, uh, he can do a bunch of damage. So I just, I just, we just going to have to hold on with the Baguska. That's just what exactly what we have to do here. Um, <clears throat> it's not really, yeah, I don't think it's really fundamental to be doing all that extra stuff. Uh, oh, I, I, oh, I forgot to get my solitaire back. I forgot about that. So <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Um... So yeah, that's fine. You can put a Mizuki back. That's not really anything special. Um, it's actually good for me. So this is why I kind of wanted to send uh, Spirit Master. Or you didn't put a Pendulum Call back. You're 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 you're, you're, you're uh, advantageous right there, folks. That was a very advantageous play. Um, so <clears throat> is this a Dark Spellcaster? 
Oh my god, it is. But they all have to go in defense mode. So, like I said, I'm not really worried about anything. If he can top deck, if he top deck something, that's just that's just funky. There's nothing I really I really can do about that. <clears throat> if he just top deck when he needs to top deck, this is nothing I can do. But I mean, he he can right. Yeah, he can just pendulum summon the sorcerer. Excuse me, but he can actually pendulum summon Joker and uh, Black Fang, and then just pop Iris to search the trap again. And then, uh, yeah, we're just uh, <clears throat> I don't know, man. This is man. See, every time I take out Castell, I need Castell, and then whenever I have Castell, I need Tornado Dragon. So it's weird. I I don't really don't know really what else to cut. Uh, Shout outs to Dwayne McFadden for reminding me about this card. This card wins me so many games. It's not even funny. And I know you guys, if you guys checked out Tuesday's video, you guys would definitely see, you know, what this card can do. Especially like with Zombie World, you can just, you can attack. And that's why I really love this deck. This is where it really makes the deck stand out for me. Is the fact that we can search Zombie World so we can attack with everything. And that's really <clears throat> been the problem with zombies this whole time is we can't attack. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I don't want to see this card. Oh my god. I literally I played a local and I lost to this card. Because I forgot that it does what it does. So <laughs> like I s I literally sat there like see that yeah, this is this dumb. Oh there's a unit zombie. Okay. So what we can do is just detach this. Um so yeah, this negates effect monsters. Which sucks. So now we have to find a way to clear his board. <clears throat> See, now I just gotta. Oh man. See, look, now I need to go into a Tornado Dragon. So now I can just attack over that. And he would get that back. And what does this do? Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to see something real quick. I can go into a Link 2. Then goes Mizuki for Gozuki, but that doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, this doesn't. I think I'm just have to keep waiting, just to go off. And I think that I'm gonna wait one more turn to go off. So hopefully he doesn't beat me. I have eight thousand, so um, <clears throat> I feel like we can we can work with that. I feel like we can really work with that. Um, actually, that was that was a very bad move because if he has a if he draws a monster, we're just in trouble. Um, yeah, if he draws a monster, we're in trouble. Okay, well he's just gonna keep it. I literally lost this because I forgot what it said. Like I literally had game and went into a black rose and forgot that it negates effects. And it was it was it was horrible. Okay, here we go. So now we can do some. Oh, the Strudo. That's that's even better. Because now he can't activate nothing if I decide to do stuff. All right, so here we go. All right, so now we can turn this to attack mode. Hmm. Attribute you. Uh, special summon you. <clears throat> so we could do this. Or Gozuki right over here all right so I gotta be careful because this negates and let's say if it all right so hmm I can go Sun Saga but I have no no what's name all right so let's see here we can dump oh wait oh okay wait no, no, no. I know exactly how to get out of this this is this is actually very easy to get out of. Go into this. Go right into a deco talker. With these three. And deco talker gets to search. He can negate this all he wants. He's not going to. Okay. So now we're gonna get the spirit master. And then since we haven't used what's the name's effect. What we're going to do is we're going to, this is, this is, this is deep. <clears throat> we're going to have to do Strudo. Right. Then we're going to 
have to go into a samurai destroyer. Go right into him right there. Then we're gonna go bam. Activate the effect. And this is not a Stark Spellcaster, is it? So now what I can do is I can just run this over, right? And nothing would trigger. And if he tries to do something, I'm just going to negate. What are you targeting? Yeah, I have to negate. I have to. There's this, I have to negate it. Um, we can just get Spectral Sword. No, because it will get banished, huh? So we're going to just put that right there. So yeah. I actually need, yeah, so look, now what we can do is just run this over. <clears throat> we'll get the effect, but. Oh, wait, could we have won? I don't think we could have won. We actually could have won, but I mean, hopefully we don't die. So <laughs> we we are at, what's the name though? We are at, uh, <clears throat> we are at 4,000, so. If he want, he can pin them some in two cards. Yeah, we, we might have just lost the game. <laughs> we might have just lost our, our a game because of that. That that might that might be a, a thing we lost with. But hey, we was going for it. Um, him negating this, I actually probably shouldn't have negated to be honest with you, and just went uh, what's the name? Oh okay. I don't understand what he's doing that for. What are you targeting? And it says if this you just target one machine monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Ah, there's no machine. I'm guessing he's just trying to. He's just trying to bait it out. There's not really too much I can do about it either. What does it come back? Um. Well, I, I can't really do anything. I just have to let it go. Nothing I can do. I, I mean, I can't. I can't stop it. If I negate it, it's going to go into extra deck. It's going to be able to pendulum summon it. So, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Yep. Not really too much I can do. Uh, we tried. We tried in vain. We tried in vain. I probably shouldn't have negated. It. Should have let him just get it. And I could have just went. Uh, what's the name? And just start popping the scales. Yes, yeah, in hand hindsight. Oh wait, what? You have a card in your hand or something? Wait, what? What are you doing? Uh, um, am I missing something here? He's going to gain twelve hundred. He's going to be at twenty nine. Oh, so no matter what I do, there's no reason to let him keep it. <laughs> there's no reason to let him keep it. There's no reason to. Um, and actually, we can. I think we win. He has 1300 left, right? So that means he has to attack with this. <clears throat> and then if he pops it, we just attack for game. Right? I believe. I, actually, I think we actually win. He can pop it, but that's. Wait, but wouldn't this attack fizzle? I'm not sure, but when he attack, yeah, the attack fizzles, right? Yeah, so what was the point of that? It's pretty stupid. <laughs> Don't tell me you got a back row. Oh, you a sack of shit for that one. Um, but I think we just okay. There's no way to time pendulum grab. So let's see if it is. We I, I have a way to win anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to send this. Then we're going to activate you to vanish you. Then we're going to go over here. Zombie Skull. That's going to special summon Spectral Sword back. Which we're going to probably get in defense mode because I don't want no shit. And then we go into. Oh no, not Shogun Saga. <clears throat> That's uh, 18. Yeah, so we're just going right in this. activate that no need to chain it does not I mean he can't oh, okay well you oh, okay you draw a strike all right all right so we win the first duel Jesus Christ <clears throat> Jesus Christ what what a good duel 
What a good duel. Man, we, we, we got to the we got to the nitty gritty. All right, time for the side. You know what? I did say one video, but this one took a very long time. So, anyways, yeah, be right back, folks. All right, hold on. Let's go to the side deck. Um, all right. So, what we're going to be doing is since we're oh wait, where's my spell shattering arrows? No. Okay, we're definitely putting in these ghost ogres. These these are definitely coming in. Um, these cyclones are definitely coming in. <clears throat> um. Okay, so since we're not going first, we're going to just take out these strikes and warnings. And then what can we, since we're not going first, um, I guess we could take out like the scapegoat combo. There's no reason for it. And then we guess we can, um, cut out, I, I, I hate soul charge going second. But anyways, thank you for watching. Um, it was supposed to be one video, but uh, time, time, time is very long. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next duel.